It's very difficult for me to hear bad things about the Jacksons and, and Joe Jackson uh, and Michael Jackson. For, for me, these people were very good to me. From a, a young woman, from an 18-year-old woman, young woman, they were very good to me. Joe Jackson was my first manager ever. Um, as, as me as a solo artist. I can tell you story after story after story of wonderful things that this man did for me. His children, Jermaine and, and all of them, were always wonderful to me and my children. Every weekend, my kids got picked, along, picked up along, my boys, I had two boys as a single black mother. My children got picked up every weekend along with the rest of the children as if they were Jacksons and brought over there, you know, and, and they never asked for, make sure they got lunch money, make sure they have, no. They got picked up and, and, and from very small children were very, very well taken care of and taught a lot of wonderful things. Those, were one, those are wonderful people. They're, they're good family. Um, Mrs. Catherine Jackson is a wonderful woman who, uh, they still call me Michelle. I hate to hear bad things about them. So um, Brandon and Nicholas were very, very close to their families and not just, you know, Jermaine, Jackie, all of them have done wonderful things for my sons, good things, giving them studios to work in, you know, made sure that even if I kicked them out, they had somewhere to go. They could go to the Jackson compound and Catherine let them in and, and you know, and I knew they were safe. And this has go been going on forever since they were born. So I don't have anything bad to say about the Jacksons or Mr. Jackson or Mrs. Jackson or, or Michael Jackson. Um, it's unfortunate that uh, Mr. Michael Jackson was uh, on, on, on drugs to that point because those those were doctors that did this and you know you get to a you know certain place where you just can't turn around you know not too many people even get off pills you know pills pills and these these things are like uh, the pink elephant in the room in the entertainment industry I tried it for a minute not really deep because I can't I have ADD with anything so <laughs> I can't do anything long it's like I'm getting tired of that now what do we I'm not into things like that. Went to, you know, rehab situation was the best thing in my life because then I dove into issues and things that I didn't even know were there underlying things. Like, I want to fight because, you know, I just want to fight. I lost my mom at a t as a teenager and was really put out there. So I had anger issues and I would fight in a minute, you know, <laughs> but I don't do that anymore. I had uh, issues that I needed to medicate myself, you know, I don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> Once you get rid of the cause, it's different than treating the symptoms where people say you can't recover. Well, that's nonsense. There is recovery. There was a time when you could have a drink and not go on to pills or boot, whatever the heck is out there. You know, uh, anything you have to do hand to mouth, you should have control over. I never knew about people that had drug addictions. I didn't know what that was and how that felt and that it could be anybody, literally. It, you don't have to be unintelligent. You don't have to be poor. You don't have to be, you know, uh, in some deep trouble. I was partying, you know, and I did some drugs. And, and it, you know, for four years, it, it, it was not a good thing. But I learned so much from it. I learned from it, and I have empathy for people, and I actually know how to, to send and direct someone to help if, if that is an issue. I could never be Beyonce. I could never be Tina Turner. I love them. I, don't, I just don't see that I could ever entertain 30,000 people and not start wondering why are they all here or what are they going to do to me or something weird. I'm like, what is everybody doing? <laughs> like, it would freak me out. I, couldn't, I don't think I could live and, and not be able to go to the market. I walk to the store, and I enjoy it. You know, um, and I enjoy that um, other artists like Stevie Wonder and Nancy Wilson and Aretha Franklin and Shaka Khan know me and they're my friends and they respect me. That's important to me. I like that. I don't think I want to go to the bank and everybody comes running out and, you know, I can't find, I can't keep counting my money. I don't know what's happening. I don't like it. I don't think I'm cut out for that. It's, it's all about 
giving, putting the pieces to this puzzle called life, and being a positive influence. It's about, at the end of the day, when you close your eyes and you turn your, your time card in, you say, I did my part to bring love to the world. I did my part to show the world God. That's what's important. See, this is what made me cry. That's what is important. To, to, to be that peace in the puzzle that brings peace on earth. Be that peace in the puzzle that brings love. That's what's important. I don't know what it takes to make it in this business. I've not made it in this business. I have just stayed in this business. That's it. I have not re reached any pinnacle of oh, success. I don't have one Grammy. I have nominations. I got maybe a joint Grammy. I, I'm, I'm not what is uh, considered successful in show business. I'm uh, an enduring and endearing person. I said success in show business is those awards and big paychecks and those, that kind of thing. I'm not a successful person like that in show business like that. I'm a success at my craft. I'm a success at, at who I am, what I do. You know what I mean? I'm a success as a parent, you know? But I'm not quote unquote successful in music. I don't, like show business, no. There's no success that makes me want to compromise my moral beliefs or present an image uh, that perpetuates death, murder, mayhem, or anything like that. So I don't say I limit my opportunities. I just choose what I will do, what I can live with, and what I don't want to do. I don't want to be on no private jet flying all over the place, singing this and that. I enjoy my life. I want to have a good life. Success to me is personal. It's your personal life. When you get into bed at night, do you feel good? Yes, I do. I'm Mickey Howard, and I rock jazz. <laughs>